Hi guys, are your poles holding you back? Literally. Uh, so most people ski with poles that are far too long for modern skiing. A lot of people, um, if you want to ski modern, you're going to ski pretty flexed most of the time, whether you're in groomers, bumps, trees, woods, powder, really anything. And uh, part of being flexed means that uh, my hands are going to get lower to the ground. But the other thing is too, is you never want high hands. You want kind of low and in front hands. That's, that's been the standard for, for years, to be honest with you. And if you get a pole that's too long, it will force your hands up or it'll force you up and it'll force you back. So uh, I'm going to show you on some adjustments right now. These are set to 110 centimeters. I'm 173 centimeters tall. And I saw last week somebody show up to a lesson with this 130 centimeter long poles. So um, we're going to go. That's the reason I'm using these adjustables today. Let's go ahead and set them real, real quick so they're even, even-ish. And so um, if I have poles this long, the lower I get, the more my hands are going to have to come up or I'm just not going to be able to get low. So, um, and this is just one way that our poles hold us back. The other way too is it stops us from moving laterally. And I'm going to go out on, a, on some trails and show that. Um, but uh, this is kind of an extreme example, but I'm a pretty good skier. So I just move five or 10 centimeters. It's probably not going to look that different. This is going to look different. And this is honestly a real world thing that I saw. And I assure you, I can go find somebody my height, five foot nine, 173 centimeters skiing with 125, 130 centimeter poles. So um, guys, we're on Gulch, which is honestly a pretty mellow run here. It's very icy today, especially off trail, um, very firm. Something I can normally ski with, but I'm actually a little bit terrified skiing with this 125 centimeter pole in these bumps because it's just so hard to manage in the trees and short turns. The groomer skiing, like GS turns, it kind of really like hold your hands up really high and clear your poles out. But this will give me a little bit terrifying for me. So I'm gonna give this my best go. I don't really want to ski as like, I wasn't even that aggressive the first time, but I don't want to ski nearly that aggressive with these poles. So, all right, here goes. All right, so those are just some video examples of how changing my pole length affects me. There's a chance, I gotta, I gotta see if I can find some people who have noticeably long poles on the hill that are still set to a longer length to see how it affects them. I'm, I'm able to manage my movements a little bit better, but it still is hard. In fact, especially on bumps and short turns and in trees, man, it really is hard, but even GS turns. It was much harder. So um, a lot of people think that poles don't matter. They just go and they grab whatever they can off the rental rack and steal them basically, which I don't condone at all. But um, they matter a lot because they're, they're basically affecting how our, our entire fore and aft balance, our entire ability to flex and extend. And they're also affecting our ability to edge sometimes as we, uh, as I tilt into a turn. And I, uh, if I pull kind of too high, I have to make my hand higher or it's going to block my movement into the new turn. So um, this is just part one about how like our pull length affects it. And then the next part is going to be how people's pulling habits affect their skiing, not just the equipment, but the actual mechanics themselves. So uh, like and subscribe for more Josh's Ski Hacks. And um, I'm so glad I'm done skiing on my ridiculous 130 centimeter long poles because it felt just so bad. So thanks. <laughs>